Well, I've had uh, I've had one or two people ask me why I don't do um, HF from home. Um, I've just uh, I've just had a little play around with the MFJ tuner, and I've just produced this uh, this handy tuning chart, which I'll I'll keep because it's um, for my antenna, just in case I do decide to play a bit of HF. I'll show you what sort of noise level I get here. Hmm. There we go. That's in 7093. S7 noise. Uh, hang on, let's check the tuning chart, did I? So on 40 metres it needs to be on H. Yeah, it's on H. It needs to be on 4. And it needs to be on 7. There we go. So if I transmit it now, I should have a fairly minimal SWR on 40 metres. Uh, 7093, let's make it 7100. Oh, 7100. I get 7100. There we go. If I just change the mode there, change the mode to FM, just check the output power 30 watts. Okay, so I'll just have a look on the uh, on the tuner and just see how good that tune is. Remember that set from the chart. I haven't actually tuned it, all I did was look at my uh, look at my handy little chart there. And I've set the inductance to H, the TX cap to 4, and the antenna cap to 7. So let's just see what that gives us. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, you hardly see any movement at all on that reflected power. Yeah, that's actually saying that um, we've got a bit more than 30 watts going forward. And that reflected needle, as you can see, that might just be moving very, very slightly, but it's it's barely perceptible. If I wanted to nip it in, I could, but I mean, that's you just, you know, just going from the chart, just put those settings in, 7100, not even 7093, which was what the original tune was for. So it's a fairly broad tune. I'll turn that down in case that's someone whinging. We don't want to hear that, do we? Um, and um, you can see how reliable... <clears throat> Excuse me. You can see how reliable that method is. Now I'll just put this back to um, lower sideband. There we go. And I'll turn that up. That's actually S7, S8 of noise. That's not as bad as it was before. Before it was S9+, plus and it really was quite noisy. I'll just have a little tune around and see if I can hear anything. Might be some of the usual crowd on uh, 7093. Hmm. Sounds like someone's having a bit of a tune up on 7093, getting ready to give it a bit of a crack. It's exciting stuff, this amateur radio, isn't it? That's a fairly common frequency used in uh, WA 7093. Get a lot of the guys sit on that, so you can ask for a report on that most of the time if you're uh, around WA and you're, you're setting up a mobile or portable station. There's usually someone out there that will give you a report. Um, I'm not going to go on and ask for a report at the moment because uh, um, I can't be bothered, to be perfectly honest. And if I got a response, I'd probably have to ask that person's permission to put this video on YouTube, and I don't want to have to do that, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to bother. But uh, I'm sure that um, if I put out a call now, the guy that was just tuning up on that frequency would hear me and probably would respond. Now I'll just show you that uh, by pressing that momentarily, you've seen that little thing come up in the window there, and it's saying. Uh, it gives me a different um, letter for the different menu across the bottom here. So it's multifunction menu. Uh, 
and that's N, O. Now, if I take it to 1, there's a noise blanker, which I've got on. I'll take the noise blanker off, put the noise blanker on. I've also got the AGC on. Just take the AGC off, put the AGC back on. You probably heard that. Take the AGC off, put the AGC back on. It's on auto. Put it on fast, put it on slow. Might as well leave it on auto. The little running man there means that I've got it on uh, twice the uh, tuning step speed, so I must have inadvertently knocked the microphone. So if I hold the microphone and uh, just press this middle button here, this FST button momentarily, the little running man disappears and my tuning steps will go back to normal. And let's see what else we've got on this menu here. IPO, I've got the IPO on, uh, which is the... Um, what does that stand? Intercept point optimizer or something. It sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, got to have a... Got to have a... I must put that down on 7093. <laughs> That's the trouble with that little menu. You've got to use it... You've got to select it and use it. Otherwise it all... It goes back to... Uh, it goes back to the uh, tuning function on that knob there. There we go. Put that back on 7093. I must say that I'm very impressed with this radio so far. There we go. So I'll press that again. And you can see the menu come up there again. Uh, filters, haven't got any of that installed. Dynamic noise reduction is on. Uh, what's it like with it off? Uh, there we go. I think we'll have that on. Sounds a little bit nicer, doesn't it? Now. I was talking to someone the other day on the local 2 metre repeater and he was saying that he's got one of these and he thought the audio was not very good, the actual audio coming out of the speaker. But he was talking about listening to a broadcast. So I've used this on 2 metres, I've never used it on HF. Um, I used it on 2 metres last night for the first time and I thought the receive audio quality was very good, um, bearing in mind it's communications audio quality. Um, I think he was talking about comparing it with a broadcast AM radio. We'll just try that. So if we go down to, uh, what do we want? We want 1080, don't we? 1080, so, so let's go down to 6IX, which is a local oldies station, and see what it sounds like. That's 1050, 1080. Can't hear anything at all. Okay, let's put the capacitors back there, and uh, let's wind in some inductance because it's a pretty low frequency medium. Oh, there we go. And then just adjust the capacitors for maximum signal strength. Being low, there you go. It's probably going to need quite a lot of capacitance in there. Look at that. There we go. Just pick that up. So I could connect a medium wave transmitter to that now and it would probably be a fairly good match. So now I've got S9 Plus. Yeah, it's, um, it's okay. It probably doesn't sound as good as a broadcast radio, an AM broadcast radio, but then bear in mind it is a communications radio. Uh, maybe there's a... I'll turn that down just in case there's some sort of copyright problem with 6IX being uh, um, on there. <laughs> I've just said it's 6IX, haven't I? It doesn't really matter, does it? On AM with a touch of FM and harmonics on shortwave. So, um, I don't... Yeah, I think that's quite acceptable if I had that in the shack. Cause I don't actually have a shack. I've just put this on the coffee table, thrown a cloth over it, but... If I had uh, if, if I had that in the shack, I'd listen to that AM radio. As AM radio, that's not bad. Um, just go to the function menu um, and just see what um, see what sort of uh, options we get with regard to AM on this thing. What options do we get? Do we get any options at all on AM? I better turn that down in case there's any kind of. Mine just pretty old music, isn't it? I can't imagine anyone being up, jumping up and down about copyright. In fact, the people that made it are probably 
happy that it's out there reminding people that they can still go out and buy it, probably. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, clarifier, I don't want any of that. Come on, give me some AM options. Oh, yeah, there was... Um, uh, oh, here we go, AM step, 5 kilohertz. All right, so let's change that, if we can, and see if it widens out the IF bandwidth on the AM. It might automatically do it, so... That's five kilohertz. Oh, look at that. It's actually got nine. There you go. That's 25. No, I don't, I don't hear any difference there. I would say that's not adjusting the IF. I don't know whether that's psychological or not. Let's try that again. It's 2.5. That's as low as it will go. And 25 is as, as wide as it will go, or the most it will go. No, I don't think that's making any difference to the IF bandwidth at all. So I'll leave that on 5K. Now, there is um, a noise blanker on this as well. I've got the noise blanker on. Uh, you probably remember I showed you that just now on there. But you can, I'll just turn that down a bit, but you can actually adjust the noise blanker level. Um, I haven't got the book in front of me. This is always the way, isn't it? I'm completely unprepared when I do these videos. I should try and polish them up a bit. Here we go. So menu mode number 63 is noise blanker level. And the noise blanker level is set to 50. I've got the noise blanker on at the moment. Let's just see if that makes any difference. That's no noise blanker. Oh, yeah. That sounds bloody awful. So, so it might be that the fellow that spoke to me on the two meter repeater the other day has got his noise blanker level wound up to a hundred. Because that sounds terrible, doesn't it? Listen to that. And now I'll wind that back down to the default, which was 50. So it's not hi-fi, but then it's AM radio coming from a communications radio, and it's a pretty small speaker. You know, I'm old enough to remember AM radio sounding really good on car radios in the 70s. I probably had KZ88s in the output or something. <laughs> the A <eight> tracks. <laughs> and uh, AM radio thumping listening to the offshore pirate radio stations. But, um... Okay. So between 50 and 0. Mm, I'd say between 50 and 0, there's nothing. There's not really a difference there. But once you get over 50, there you go, yeah, listen to that. So, so if that's what you're hearing on your 857 when you're trying to listen to AM broadcast radio, go into, just press the function button, go into menu mode, check out menu mode number 63, and just have a look at what you've got your noise blanker set to. And if it's set to 100, just wind it back to 50. And then you'll be able to uh, use it as a shack AM radio while you're, uh, while you're building your projects or whatever. I, don't, I think that sounds quite good, actually. I'd use that. There we are. So that's just, uh, just a little more fun playing around with the, uh, the 857. I won't bother noting the, um, the settings for the AM broadcast band on the MFJ uh, because... Uh, there we go. Unfortunately, the uh, the Department of Trade and Industry put an end to my uh, medium wave broadcasting uh, back in the UK some many years ago. I hope you found that uh, interesting. Thanks for watching.